Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to To The Rescue, where we finally, finally, finally have a fixed our shelter. I am so happy about this. Look, Zadam is back, you guys. Our angry deaf puppy, Zadam, who absolutely hates everybody and doesn't want to like have anyone come and be his friend, has returned to us. Zadam, I have actually missed you tremendously. And oh my gosh, I can hardly remember how to do anything. Yes, he's food aggressive, he's a puppy, he's deaf, he's very unadoptable, but we are going to keep him forever. And he is back, and I'm so happy about this. Thank you so much to the patrons in our Patreon Discord who actually told me, oh, oh dear, oh dear, um, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much to the patrons who told me. Oh my gosh, I can't remember how to do anything. Okay, let's just start grabbing puppies. Okay, how many puppies can I? I can get three puppies at once. All right, let's see if we can start trying to identify where we should put all of these. Zira, you should go in here. Next up, we have Scrappy, who's a little drooly. You go in here. And then finally, we have Ringo. Ringo, you like the blue food, so you should go in here. All right, that should hopefully take care of those puppers. But I have good news and bad news, guys. So the good news is we have this to the rescue working again, which makes me so happy. And then I have some bad news, which is, oh my gosh, these guys, they're so big. They're dragging me around. I've never had that happen before. That's adorable. And then the bad news, my friends, is that we actually are really, really struggling when it comes to, oh, come on, puppies. Come on, puppies. All right, let's go ahead and Nichols, you like green food, so you can go in here. AJ, you like red food, stay with me for a second. Snoop, you like blue food. Oh, I'm so glad to have helpers because that's really helping me out. Oh my word, you can just hear, hear them like very busy. <laughs> filling up all of the dog food. It is so worth it to have these helpers. But yes, so like I said, good news, we do have To The Rescue working again. Bad news, we're here because our other animal shelter experience, animal shelter simulator is actually still in playtesting beta mode and it's majorly glitching out right now. So until it gets patched up by the developers who are working so hard on it, I figured why let ourselves down on the puppy fun and go ahead and dive back in to the rescue where I hope that all of our dogs are doing well. Is somebody hungry? Who is hungry? All right. I wish I could figure out exactly which puppers is hungry. A new foster has had their application approved to join the foster network. Check out the tab in the log menu of the computer to assign them to dogs. Oh, it's Ajax. So Ajax actually has gotten stuck. <laughs> okay. I think he's going back in. And then Scrappy is going to possibly get bathed instead. Uh, and Roberta wants to give us a mystery box. 10 food of each kind. Oh, that was totally worth it. And Ajax over here is actually food aggressive and bad with cats. So as long as we're careful about the food, I'm hoping we can get Ajax a good home. We're going to have to work a little bit on that. But I'm really excited because you guys have been so amazing and excited. And look, there's Bojangles. Bojangles is back. You've been so excited about some great animal rescue games and I wanted to play some really fun ones that we could all enjoy together But then I kept running into the problem that a lot of them are brand new and still in early access testing mode Like this one whose save file was broken for a long time But is now fixed and then like the animal shelter simulator So if you guys have other great ideas about ways that we could rescue even more puppies and cats and maybe some other animals and other games that you enjoy that you think would be perfect for the pixel biology community then do leave those suggestions down below because i am so in the mood to rescue <gasps> yes and we have a guest a guest ready to go ahead and adopt one of oh wait is this the mayor again no 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 no, no. i think she's actually here for our puppers no no it is the journalist hi siri do you have time for a few more questions I'm excited to write another story about your shelter. <gasps> See, just as I was giving a fantastic soapbox speech about how excited I am to carry on with our animal rescues, here we are. The last one you wrote was amazing, fire away. Thank you, okay, here we go. What's the toughest thing about this job? Uh, definitely finding the homes. There's not enough homes for all the animals. Not being able to place every dog with a family. We want every dog to find a permanent home they love, but sometimes it can be tricky to find a match. Wow, that sounds really tough. I'll make sure our readers understand that challenge. 
I think that's all I need for now. I'll be back soon to learn more about your work. Bye. Yay, all right. So foster homes have just been added to the network, which is great. I guess we could go ahead and we could like investigate the foster network and maybe put a dog or two. Reliability nine, six, three, more than three stars. Restriction needs to be more than a straight three star dog. There's Aggie and Kaja. I don't know if you can ever like, I mean, I guess if they're in the foster network, they're just gonna be in there forever. Reliability is six. Let's actually have Ajax come to this person because they're food aggressive and uh, bad with cats. So being in a very reliable household who, and they don't need to worry about like any of the um, other restrictions might really help Ajax to become a more comfortable dog ready and willing to be able to hang out with everybody. All right, I think we're doing pretty good. All right, since we have helpers helping us out now, I'm just checking on little Zadam. Okay, Zadam's doing good. Let's check on some of our new dogs. Like Snoop, I know you're all the way back here. Submissive and stubborn is our Snoop. All right, so Snoop, I'm actually gonna go ahead and bathe you myself if I can ever remember how to do so. Here we go. Oh wait, did we just get a new dog? Oh my gosh, Snoop is like yanking me around because they're so strong. <laughs> okay, I think we just got a new dog. Maybe? Let's see, a new dog has arrived. Zero is waiting in the holding kennel. Be sure to put them somewhere comfortable. Uh-oh. Zero! A new dog has arrived that's injured. Oh, Jake! He has a painful in injury. Okay, come here, Jake. All right, so he's in neglect right now because he's been tremendously injured. So let's go ahead and get him healed up. It would be really nice if we could do more of the like vet sort of work with the dogs, but we'll just have to be patient. For a, you know, like I'm not certified to be an animal vet, 100%. Okay, hang in there, Jake. I wanna make sure I can get like all of these. Uh, here we go. Having to remember how to do all this again. <laughs> All right, hang in there, Jake. Okay, I already got that for you. So let's give you this one. Now Jake should be good. All right, what food do you like? Green bison. Do I have a green bison spot empty? There's Scrappy spot. Nicole and Sydney, right over there. Jake, my helper is on their way to like provide you food immediately. There's Zio! Oh, I'm Patrick! What a cute name! And we have a little old lady looking for a large dog. All right, well, let me get these two put somewhere. So I'm gonna need red food on Petri. And then, let's see, I'm gonna need blue food on Zio. Oh, it actually seems so much easier to pick which dog you need to stick where, which is wonderful. All right, so Zio, uh, oops, nope, I want Zio. Just as I said that, I select the wrong dog. Okay, so there's Zio, there's Petri. That should work out okay. And let's pick out some of the large breeds that this little old lady, who probably shouldn't, well, I'm not gonna judge. I, I personally would be a little nervous handing over a large breed to a little old lady, but you know. Uh, let's see, we have Jake, Snoop, Scrappy, Nichols. Nichols is quiet and shy. Snoop is actually submissive and stubborn. Rocky, okay, but Nichols is actually a, me a, lar or a medium and she wants a large. So let's give Jake and Snoop a bath or some shots to see if we can get their adoptability up. All right, where is Jake? Jake, there you are, Jake. Okay, so let's see. Oh dear, do we have another dog? <laughs> I think we do. So Jake actually has really high adoptability and then Sydney actually has really high adoptability. So actually, I think we should be good. And then do we have another dog? Java is actually waiting in the kennel. So let's move quickly. All right. Let's pull out the star of the show. I think Jake is probably going to steal the show, but let's grab Snoop as well. And then I think Scrappy is a large dog. We'll find out. In order to like get a move on with being able to take good care of these animals and build our reputation, we've got to go ahead and provide animals for adoption. Heck, I bet there's some other fun vet and animal shelter games we can definitely dive into. <gasps> Yay! Okay, I think Jake is just like a winner. Look at that. He's gonna have a new home, no problem. 
And I would love, it would be an absolute dream if we could rename these dogs, by the way, because then they could be your guys' puppers. Just waiting to go ahead and have a good home. Hmm. All right, so she's actually... Okay, we're gonna be really close on this. I thought this was gonna be like easy peasy. Come on, Snoop. Scrappy. What? <laughs> How could she? Okay, I guess we, you know what? If it's not the right dog, adoption actions. Since you've unlocked adoption actions, you have a second chance to try and convince the visitor to adopt. These actions come to cost, but can be worth it to find a home for one of these dogs. Okay, uh, add a bonus star to a dog's score by emphasizing a trait. Persuade a dog's score, increase a dog's score by 20%, lose three reputation points. So we're gonna go ahead. How do I, aha, that's how you select it. We're gonna try to persuade her. I think this dog really had a connection with you. Uh, Jake, on second, oh no! <laughs> so even though Jake had such a great reputation, it didn't work, you guys, Oh. I really thought that was like a, a guaranteed win because he was so, he had four stars. Oh dear, and now we're up to even more dogs. Okay, okay, nobody panic. Tasha, hi! So we have a cuddly puppy named Tasha and then Java. Oh, thank goodness you can actually reach Java. Okay, there have been, so, oh, oh, bites, oh dear. I wonder if you can train that out. So Java's a small retriever who wants red food. So let's see, let's go ahead and put you right there. I hope that wasn't somebody's spot. And then Jake, are you food aggressive? Let's find out. Nope. All right, so Jake, you and Tasha are gonna be new buddies. Oh no. Guys, we're about full. Our shelter is about to be, oh, Dixie, she's so small. Okay, so she's very social and she wants the red food so i think i might need to put her in with petri and we're just about 100 percent full on dogs we've only got one empty spot and that's with zadam and zadam does not go with other dogs as we have learned so is there a way i can go ahead and maybe add a little bit let's see do we have enough money i think we have enough money to put in a, another kennel room Let's see, kennel room, maybe. Yeah, we probably have enough money to add in another kennel room. I wish I could unlock some different styles of them. This might do for now though. So let's try putting that down and we'll see if by magic, potentially, <laughs> potentially it looks like, it, I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but potentially it looks like some things have gotten fixed since last time we were involved because so far it looks like i can put down a few more runs for the dogs without having to worry too much about it <gasps> and can i put in some nice kennels Ooh, you guys if that's the case <gasps> yes okay if this is the case we might finally be able to do some proper updates for the to the rescue enclosures yes and look at that now we are no longer worried we've got new rooms for the dogs yay oh and we have a new foster so we have a ton of fosters <laughs> you know what let's find somebody who would be good for the fosters you think maybe a puppers who needs a little bit of extra attention actually where's that that bitey dog was that Java? Java is adorable and beautiful, but maybe we should put Java with the foster because they they really probably need a little bit of extra TLC before they can go to a forever home. So let's see, reliability is six. We're gonna just come and put Java in their house and we'll have to see if like fosters ever end up, yay, we gained some community funds, excellent. Oh, that reminds me. Maybe I could go and do like something around the community because finally everything is working again. Oh, that makes me so happy. Let's see, uh, bark book. We want events. We could do a foster drive or spay and neuter seminar. Yes, please. You have returned from the Spaniard Seminar at the shelter. Any opportunity to spread some knowledge about why your work is important is one you're happy to take. Yes, 
I will absolutely be there every day. Our reputation has gone up. The day is done. We managed to get our reputation back up to 100. We got a whole bunch of puppies placed with the foster care network. Everybody is clean and fed. I am just so happy, you guys. We may have to take a bit of a break from our to the rescue or from our animal shelter simulator and dive back into the rescue, but that's fine! We have worlds and worlds and worlds of different animals to help out. And this is just one fantastic way we can do so. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and let's clock out for the day. Hopefully the puppers will be well. And I'm so happy everything is working again because I forgot how like fun chaotic it can be. Look at all those puppers! Welfare is staying pretty high. Pretty happy about that. Could really use more skill points, thank you very much. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Oh, oh no, what was that? Oh no, Rocky, oh dear, okay. If we start having sick dogs, <gasps> Rocky, no! Okay guys, if you guys could, do please leave a like for the fact that at least for the moment, we have things under control. But is illness beginning to spread through our shelter? We are gonna have to find out next time. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for poor Rocky. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.